What's up friends, I'm Jake, and today we're gonna to be solving problems in Figma with JavaScript. Here we have a massive icon library, as you can see behind me, and each of these icons here, they have both like a solid and an outline variant. For every icon, we have one of both. We can see that they're all mixed up together. We wanna to like have these be separate, but right now they're all in between. See like right, right here, we have them all in between. Let's say we wanna take all these outline ones right here, and we want to move them into their own section and separate them from the solid ones. Without JavaScript, we'd have to like, you know, shift click each one like this, you know, and that'd take forever because we have hundreds of icons. That's really annoying and time consuming and no one wants to spend any time doing that. I, I don't want to spend time doing it. You want to spend, you have more important things to do than shift click a hundred oh, icons. Icon. Since Figma is built on the web, I just spit. Since Figma is built on the web, we can actually run web code directly in Figma to do this for us. So we can see in this layers panel right here, each of these icons has a name that starts with icon slash outline or icon slash solid. In the name of the icon, we actually know whether or not it's one of these solid ones or an outline one. We wanna change our selection over here from all of these to just the ones with outline in their name. And that's a perfect opportunity for JavaScript. To run JavaScript in Figma, we're gonna open up the actions menu with command K if you're a developer. It's also available somewhere over here. And we're gonna type console in the actions menu. If you're a developer, you recognize this. This is the web console that you're very used to for running JavaScript. For those that don't know, we can put JavaScript in here and we have access to the entire Figma plugin API inside of here, which is really dope. Where am I going with this? So in here, we can write Figma plugin API code to like manipulate the canvas. Anything you can do with your mouse, you can do with the plugin API. It's pretty great. You can create a rectangle, you can make it red, you can do whatever you want, make it a star. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna change our Figma selection. There's a siren right now, so we have to stop. What we're gonna do, is it gone enough? Siren's gone. We are gonna change our selection to all of the icons that are prefixed with icon slash outline so that we can drag all of those icons that start with icon slash outline into a new section and separate them from the solid icons. We can do that with, the, with JavaScript. With the plugin API, you can set the user's current selection. And to do that, we just type figma.currentpage.selection and then equals. And what the equals means is whatever comes after this equals is what we're setting the selection to. The next piece of code that we're going to write, figma.currentpage.children, the immediate children on this page, and then we're going to filter it. It's figma.currentpage.children.filter, and then in here we're passing in a function, and in this function we're just going to say, if the node's name starts with icon slash outline. That's it. It's all the code that's required to do this. So now we're going to run it, and voila. Would you look at that? We've changed the selection to everything that starts with icon slash outline. We're gonna drag all of those icons over here and we're gonna wrap, let's just name the section outline. Here's all our outline icons. JavaScript is pretty incredible. We could use this code to build a plugin to do this task, but that'd be a waste of everybody's time. Since we know the plugin API and since Figma's built on the web, we can just run JavaScript here, with like one line of JavaScript to solve this problem for us. And that's all we really need. And that's why Figma being built for the web is a good thing. Come here. We got enough.